Hi, I am Maya and welcome to my channel Bookshot. If you are new on this channel, here I talk all about books and online growth. If you are interested in these topics, make sure you stay tuned with Bookshot. In 2020, I read this book called 3000 Stitches by Sudha Murthy and I posted a small video about it on this channel and that video turned to be a game changer for Bookshot. I know for a reason that most of you guys here actually discovered this channel through that video. So directly or indirectly I owe a lot to Sudha Murthy and obviously to you guys as well. Even though Sudha Murthy do not require any introduction, I have a tiny post on my Instagram handle about Sudha Murthy. If you are interested to check it out, I will leave the link in the description box below. After you watch this video, do go and check out that post. Now coming to today's video, Wise and Otherwise is another book by Sudha Murthy which I read in the same year 2020 after reading 3000 stitches but somehow I just forgot to talk about that book on this channel so that is what I am going to do today. Both of these books 3000 stitches and Wise and Otherwise follows the same format. They are a collection of stories from Sudha Murthy's real life. Wise and Otherwise is a bit old book. It was published in 2002 initially with 50 stories. The second edition of the book was published in 2006 and at that time one more story was added in this collection and now the book has 51 stories in total. Whereas 3000 Stitches is a very quick read with 11 stories and it is a sort of biography where you will get to read about Sudha Murthy's childhood days with her grandparents, her college life, her first social work project her day in infosys foundation and all of such things which are centered around her personal life but wise and otherwise is a book which talks about people it is all about different types of people sudha murthy came across in her daily life um in her like people whom she helped uh, as a part of her social work people whom she met during her travel and all of such things it is all about people it's about different types of people that we get to see in our country so basically when you read this book you will get to know how different types of people in our country behave in different circumstances when you read each story you will feel like I think I know someone like this in my life as well. So this these stories are quite relatable and the people in these stories are people around us like people whom we see in our daily lives. Sudha Murthy is someone who does a lot of social work and in this book she talks about people who were extremely grateful for the favors she did for them. She also talks about people who accepted the help very casually as if it is not a big deal at all. and she also mentions that sometimes how much ever she tried to help people they always had complaints whatever she did was not enough and they always wanted more and more now these stories are not meant to show off her social work in fact it depicts different types of human nature and it acts as an eye opener to us readers and shows us how the real world works she takes us into the interior parts of india especially in and around karnataka to show us how things work there you will get a good picture of rural india when you read these stories and on the other hand you will also get to see the it culture of the urban india since this book was published in 2002 the incidents mentioned in this book goes way back uh, in that like time and age but when you read the stories in this book you will realize that our people have the same mindset even today after 20 to 25 years so the book remains relevant in today's day and age as well now you have no reason not to read these books both 3000 stitches and wise and otherwise i cannot go on talking about all the stories in this book i really want you guys to sit and give it a read so these books are very suitable if you are traveling uh, like they are very much like on the go kind of read each story in this book is like in both of the books are like one or two pages so they are very quick reads definitely consider reading these books if you haven't re read them already they are best suited for beginner level readers as well 
I will leave a few links in the description box below if you want to read more about Sudha Murthy. Like if you are very new to this author and you have no idea who she is, you can definitely check out those links and read more about Sudha Murthy. And now before you go, let me know which Sudha Murthy book should I pick next. Like I know there are a lot of Sudha Murthy fans out there. So do let me know which book by Sudha Murthy should I read next. I really want to read all of her books, but help me to pick my next book. And also tell me why should I pick that book next. And meanwhile, also let me know if you have read 3000 Stitches and Wise and Otherwise and what do you feel about these two books. So that's it for today's video. See you in my next video. Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye bye.